Welcome back to the channel folks, welcome to a little food review. This time round we are not doing frozen, we are doing refrigerated food review. This is a little breakfast type box you get from Marks and Spencers. Now, I've been looking to get one of these for a while to review for you but they're always sold out any time I'm in. As you probably can see, it's not the biggest of portion sizes. It is 265 grams of food. And um, at four pounds, it is very expensive for such little microwave food. So what have we got in it? We have got, it's a full English breakfast, apparently. Baked beans, sausage, mushrooms, egg and bacon. The difference with these with the other ones, we had the frozen version, the all day breakfast. This one has mushrooms, but it doesn't have any hash brown or anything like that. I think I'd rather have the hash brown than the mushrooms, but we'll give it a chance. We'll not rule it out. We will heat it up. We'll try it, we'll taste it, but it would need to be outstandingly delicious to justify the four pound price tag. M&S food, full English breakfast, baked beans, sausage, mushrooms, egg and bacon. And straight away I can see there's two sausages in there. Uh, what else have we got? Heat to eat, so it's just a microwave meal, of course, as you expect. Nothing more to see there, best before. So let's flip around and hopefully we don't make too much of a mess of it in the box. So what we will do is we'll hold that there for you. You can get a look at the ingredients there. So you'll know if you want to buy this, if there's anything there you don't want to put into your body. There's a nutrition table there as well. And there is what we're interested in here, how to cook it. Microwave, cook on high, 100% move and replace lid loosely. So 750, two minutes, 900, two minutes. Allow to stand for one minute. Guide for one pack only. Do not reheat. Now let's get a look at the product itself. To see if it's worth this hefty price tag. <laughs> what do you think so far? Are you impressed? Okay, we'll get it in and we'll heat it up and we'll try it. I think we'll just try it straight out of the box the way it's intended to be it. Okay, that's it. Microwaved. Let's get a look and see what we're working with now. So we've got two sausages there. We have the one egg. It looks like a poached style sort of egg type thing. This funny shape. It's like a, like a little top hat. And the bacon, two small bits of bacon, no sorry, three, there's a third piece there, three small pieces of bacon, and then we have some mushrooms, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mushrooms, varied in size, and then of course, sort of like laced through it all is the beans. So we'll just look at the lid of the box there again. And there's like 379 calories here in this little thing. Let's try the sausage. You know what? That is actually okay, that sausage. We would from time to time get the little portions of Cocktail sausages you get from Marks and Spencer's and see a little drop of salt on them. They're actually quite tasty. Um, yeah, so them sausages are okay. Let's try a big mushy. We get slippery sucker. Just exactly what you can imagine it'll be like. <laughs> really earthy and slimy. But again, okay. They're standard beans. Okay, so next we'll try this piece of bacon. Mm. 
Once again, fine. Perfectly edible. Oh, this egg is actually soft inside. A bit runny. I don't know how I feel about that. Or something that's been microwaved. Well, we will try it. And get it onto the fork. Like I said, folks, it's all, it's all just okay. It's all edible. Let's see if we can get a bit of a concoction going here with mushroom, beans, and bacon. Nice big mouthful. Yeah, I'm happy enough to eat it. I'm, I'm full about me as well. <laughs> I'm happy enough to eat this, yeah. Um, quality wise, it's all dead on. You know, we can expect from Marks and Spencer, so it always seems to be a bit more, a bit more premium. Mm. So you can see why they're, they are they sell out quick. But I just don't know how they can justify charging four pounds for that little item there. It's, it's not worth that. The food is okay, and I'm going to eat all of it, yes. Um, including the sausages, which some think are manky in these, and in the last all-day breakfast, yes, they were extremely manky and disgusting, but these ones are okay. Don't get me wrong. They're not they're not butcher quality or great sausages, but you know what you're getting when you get these little box mains like right, don't you? Sausage and a big mushy and some beans. Mmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite hungry. It is 11 o'clock, and this is my first meal of the day. So maybe that's why I'm appreciating that a bit more. Well, yeah, to be fair, it's, you know, it's hitting the spot. We've nearly all done. A little bit of bacon, a little bit of yolk, some beans. There's the yolk of that egg. It has fell out. Like I guess it was a bit runny. Some people might not like that. And if you do worry about things like that being runny, and just put a bit longer to make with, or split it in half before you put it in, split the egg in half, put it in the microwave and then it should cook the inside of the egg for you more. If that's an issue for you. Well, here we go. The last few bits. All done. Now yeah. We have all the breakfasts I've had on the channel. That one is the best, to be fair. But, is it worth the money? No. It's not worth four pound. Buy yourself a pack of uh, soda bread, and a pack of sausages, have a, a sausage soda, for much, much less the price. But, it was tasty enough. So, how did the app do? So I got on the app, 78 out of 100, which is an excellent score. I was very really surprised at that. I wasn't expecting that. Then have two limited risks, E170 and an artificial flavoring, and two risk free. So there we go. I taste it okay. As you can see, I ate it all in real time in front of you. And um, I got a good score. Let me know if there's anything you can spy on those ingredients there that just doesn't um, cut the mustard with you and let me know in the comments but yeah oh so I need to give it a score I need to give it a score what would I give that just a pity it wasn't a lot cheaper because it would have got a good score if it was a lot cheaper but because it's so expensive well I'm satisfied with the food yes 
and I'm satisfied with the food. It was, it was, you know, for what you're getting, I might go with meal. That was dead on, that was good, tasty enough. Give it a score, I'll give it a seven. If it had been cheaper, say three pound, two fifty, it would maybe go and eat. But it isn't, so it gets a seven. Thanks very much for watching, folks. Stay tuned to the channel. I promise I'm going to get out and do some takeaway reviews. Just work at the minute. I can't believe, but I will be out there. I'll be out looking for the finest takeaways in the country, in the land. Thanks for watching, folks. See you on the next one.